it's Faye. Listen, listen, Linda. I have so much to say about these hot ass single Koreans. Singles Inferno. If you aren't really TV trash, then I highly recommend you to join the disposal bin over here. We are the epitome of reality TV trash. A dating show, if you must. Here's just a quick disclaimer. If you're not into spoilers, then I highly recommend you to get the fuck out. By the end of this video, if you're not convinced to watch this show, then I did not do my job correctly. Actually, it's not my job. A lot of you guys just asked me to talk about Singles Inferno, and here I am, putting my two cents where no one asked. If you demand a refund, customer service is to your left. The X bar. <laughs> First of all, can we just begin by their their looks? Fucking sexy as hell. Like, oil them up. Netflix basically said, let's do Bachelor in Paradise, but the fetus version. Actually, I lied. It's not that dramatic. But you know, Asian cultures, they're just more polite and fake. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. I'm gonna be brutally honest about this show and these people because there was a lot of fakeness and drama rama drama ma rama ma rama ma In my opinion. So yeah, and I'm talking about you. They look so good. All hail Mary to you. The fact that Gia's arms are the size of my ribs. What the fuck am I doing wrong out here? Now me just realizing now that my mic was not working. Okay, my mic is on. One, two, three. Test, test, test. Boom, we're back on. If anything, this show has proven that the Korean beauty standard is just up there. You can't reach it. I will also put this opinion in where no one asked. There's a lot of plastic surgery going on. Clear as day that a lot of the noses on these beautiful humans are done. No shade in that. I'm just saying I can tell one when I see one. Just saying. So before I get into why I think one particular girl is super fake, the gist of this show, they take nine hot Koreans, I'm talking smoking hot, put them on a deserted island, an emotional jail cell, where you're forced to think about feelings. We love feelings. And just as you're liking someone, he gets stolen by the bitch sleeping across from you. I'm about to beat this bitch. If the girl and the guy like each other and essentially match, they're sent off to paradise and escape. Basically an overly priced hotel room that neither you and I can afford. And they always over order food buffet style. Like I wonder where that food goes because you know those girls, they are not scarfing down food in front of those hunks. Let's be real bitch. You know you be scarfing that shit down if you were at home, you know, by yourself. Cause same. Easy peasy. If you don't match, you stay back. Boom! Just like that, Netflix was like, bring in two more girls and a hot ass Dorito man. Damn, he's fine. Flaming hot Doritos, my fave. <laughs> at the end, the guys go up to the girl they like, and if the girl holds your hand, you basically cuff there and then. The end. That's the show. Let the fucking drama begin. Let's begin by saying that we love fucking Gia, okay? Cute, yet sexy and mysterious. That's why almost all the men want her. She's unapproachable and if it's one thing that i learned in this dating game it's the fact that i need to be more cold and bitter i'm up for the challenge i think i can do it <laughs> cold and reserved that's what keeps them wanting her take notes here ladies men tend to chase women that they cannot have okay you know what she's literally breadcrumbing them <laughs> Gia was so sly and she had a way of flirting. If the guy's like, I fall for cute girls, are you falling yet? Kind of like that, but just well packaged. She was flashy. My thing was, why does she always have to carry a purse? You're on an island. That's what makes her her. She was definitely intimidating to the other girls because as soon as she walks out, all the other girls were like, oh my god, we should go get ready too. Look at us, computer her. By the way, I'm exaggerating everything. Take everything I say like a grain of salt. At this point, two guys are chasing her. Kim Hyojong, I, okay, I'm gonna butcher names, all right? And Choi Sihun, Shihun. And in comes the newcomer, Cha Hyun Song. Song? Song? Who steals her? And he's the guy's best friend or a friend, IRL. IRL. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time we just get into the piping tea. I actually really liked this girl in the beginning. I liked her a lot. Her name was So Young. So Young. So Young Kang. So Young. But she gets annoying. I know I'm not the only one. This is a watcher's perspective. I really like that she was more athletic. She was tan. She was like against the beauty standard in a way in Korea. She's a tall girl. She brought a different look to the table. She mixed it up for us. But homegirl is insecure. Barely. Barely. She likes Jintek. Okay, they match the first round. They go to paradise. She starts falling for him. Head over heels. When I tell you this girl, was, there was no point of playing cool. So young. We know you like him. It's pretty obvious. So then the second round comes about and you apparently can't pick the same person to go to paradise. Her tactic, as she said, she picked someone who she knew was not going to pick her back because she wanted to stay on the island, expecting that Jintek would pick someone that was not going to pick him back either so they both can stay in the inferno together. That was where Jintek 
and Soyeon basically got lost in translation. So again, she picked someone who she knew was not gonna pick her back, Moon Sehun. Sorry I say his name like that, it's because me and my sister kept calling him Moon Sehun. But it doesn't make sense to me later, cause drama rama. Drama -ma rama. You'll see why. So when the second round came about, Jin Tech matched with Ji Oh my god, a four way street here. So Soyeon likes Jin Tech. Moon Sehun likes Ji But Ji and Jin Tech matches. I'm okay with Ji I just think she needs lipstick. So Yun starts feeling a type of way, right? Sad, insecure, hurt. She was left on this deserted island with like two other people. Tell me, when a person feels insecure, what do they start doing? Absolutely, you're right. Self sabotage. Not to make her out to look bad, again, from a perspective of a watcher, a consumer, a customer. I think Soyeon was taking everything super personal and she started to feel rejection, which tested her will. Just starts crumbling. She completely changed from who she was in the beginning and you could just see the self confidence spiraling. Literally, all she talked about for two episodes straight was Gen Tech and like just over analyzing. She's such an overthinker. She is me. Fuck. Guess I kind of like the fact that she was realistic in terms of like relatability. Every girl can relate to feeling that low because of a guy. She's all like Gentex, Gentex, take. Tech. His type of girls are tall girls. Jiyeon's the other tall girl here. It's only me and Jiyeon that are tall. Why would he do this to me? He knew I would pick someone that wouldn't pick me back because apparently he can read my mind. He still picked someone who picked him back. It's all his fault. How could he ever do this to me? Not that dramatic, but literally it sets the tone, okay? She's like one of the older girls. They're like 34. Am I wrong? 30 something. I think she felt insecure because of her age. Technically, they don't really know anything about each other until they go to Paradise, the really priced hotel. That's when they're allowed to ask like what do you do it's occupation how much money do you bring to the table so stay guessing listen linda you chose moon sehun because you knew he wouldn't pick you back but then you go talk to moon sehun which we all know that he's head over heels for jian he's like a one girl type of man apparently she literally lectures him you should stop liking jian because you look desperate again well packaged i'm just being realistic here you look ridiculous being head over heels for her she doesn't like you give it up but again she was polite about it <laughs> being asian myself this is very true get to be the fake nice she's like i'm looking out for you and then he starts feeling like attacked and then she has the audacity to say the way you look at chiyang is the way i look at you i just don't want you to get hurt basically there's only you and i left and i don't want to be the only single one out because everyone is coupling up together and i feel insecure so why don't you give me a chance and let's just like hook it up is that the reason why you chose Moon Sen Hoon because you actually thought that there was a chance that he'd pick you back and go because you're confessing you like him. Is that why you picked him? Because you liked him? So why can't Jin Tech pick Ji Young? Double standard! Manipulating the situation. That's that's just what I'm picking up. Okay, honestly though, I felt like it wasn't a genuine confession. Pick me. Choose me. Hmm, let's try to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that her feelings were genuine and were true. I mean, there were moments where she was like, ooh, la la. But Miss Jin Kyung, one of the hosts, I love her. She's a comedian and a model. Like Miss Jin Kyung said, the timing was just weird. It was off. Like, why are you telling him this now? You're vibrating low energy here. Bullshit! It's sabotage mode. She just gave off low frequency. There was a lot going on in her head, which again, I don't blame her. She's on an island. Henny, you gotta act unbothered like Gia, okay? Are we learning anything here, Soyeon? Of course, they know loyalty in this circle, at least thus far. I did see a video on TikTok where this girl was analyzing Ji and saying how she Looks like that nice, sweet, pretty, popular friend, but was backstab you in a heartbeat for a man's. And that's technically what she did. But you know, it's the game in the streets. So what can you do? You can't be mad at her. Can't be mad at Soyeon either. Jiyeon has this typical Korean look that everyone idolizes. Very sweet, small face, dolly eyes, tall, peel skin, very skinny. She looks like a cupcake. She was actually my favorite in episode one. Jiyeon starts falling for Jintek's charm. His old man jokes. I don't know. I don't get it. This man be playing these two girls, okay? He be playing the game. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. But guess what? He goes back to oh, Soya, no. confuses the oh, shit out of Jiyeon. And you know how Soyeon was giving shit for Moosin Hoon for liking Jiyeon and try to roster him up? She takes Jin Tech back in a heartbeat after giving that commitment talk to Moosin Hoon. You could just tell deep down she felt satisfied again. And she let this man identify her worth. He determined whether or not she felt good on the show. That's the thing that I didn't like because as soon as Jin Tech came back to Soyeon, she tried not to show it, but she was definitely 
like smirking under her blanket. The rest of the season, she continuously gives shit to Jin Tech constantly. Oh, you mean that one time we went to your without me because you chose Jin Young? Did you even think of me that night? Because I was by myself because I chose someone who wears me unlike you. Um, yeah, but you chose Jin Young. She's your type, obviously, because you say you're like, a She required so much reassurance. She was just constantly on his ass, and I think at this point we all were over it. This is all my opinion, okay? This is just how I was like picking up on her as an empath myself. <laughs> Let's talk about how they gave no screen time to Ye Won and Jin Sheik. Jin, the short one, okay? Ye Won has <laughs> girl got booty. My sister and I were hyping her up. She looked hot. She looked fun. And she's funny, witty, quirky. How are the guys not chasing after her? We hyped her up so hard on the show. There was literally no screen time for them at all. And I don't know why. I know. So, okay, so at this point, the new girls come in. Kim, Su Min and Minji. Bro, I shipped Moon Sen Hoon and Su Min so much. She seemed the most like down to earth, very just real. She looked the most natural too. She has the cutest dimples. Uh, is it two or one? I don't know. Super friendly. Definitely by the end of the show, she was my favorite. So you think that at this point, Su Min and Moon Sen Hoon were gonna like couple it up, but then Minji comes in. She steps in, she steals Moon Sen Hoon. Homegirl was determined to cop his ass. But I mean, I guess it's worth it because he's finally getting attention from girls because the whole season up until this point he was just like this lonely sad e-boy he was basically stuck on jian while she was in a love triangle anyways minji had this cold reserved look as well but not like jia jia is more like the cute mean girl look minji is the don't talk to me don't touch me don't look at me because of jia with the whole like cold reserved vibe that the boys would like really like minji but that wasn't the case they kept their distance she was so stuck on moon sen hoon she would not budge. My eyes are on the prize kind of thing. It became awkward because then at this point, Suman liked him, Minji likes him, and then now Jion is starting to like fade out of that love triangle. And it's so awkward because they would talk about him in like the bedroom or the tent or whatever, the girls' room. It's almost like this tension between the girls, but they have to be nice. Remember the fake nice? Low key job. Awkward for the girls who like don't like Moose and Hoon and they're just like, yeah, you should go for it. Yeah, you should just go talk to him. And guess what happened? So after these two girls are putting their hearts on the line, going for Moose and Hoon, it's been like a day. They play games. Moose and Hoon's like top three. So he gets to pick who he wants to bring to paradise with him. He's standing there. Bam! Cliffhanger. He chooses Gio. And the girls were ready to fucking. Minji was sitting there waiting for her name to be called. Everyone's like, I think it's gonna be Minji. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Minji. And poor Suman over here is like, like, why is no one rooting for me? And then I would like to take to paradise Tion. Holy fuck. We did not see that coming at all. Deer and headlights when the couples go off. Suman decided to start giving Sihun. The production made it seem like they were starting to fall for each other, or at least like open up giving another shot of love for Shihun because he's been fucking depressed depression whooped his ass i mean i can't blame him he was awkwardly dumped by jia you don't have to say a word just tell me if you want me with your eyes and jia's like well then, I get it. I understand. Basically, the whole time, he was just like, Chia, I'll wait for you. I mean, it was kind of sweet. Real life K-drama kind of moment. Sweet, sensitive, emotionally intelligent kind of vibe. He was kind of delusional, but can we blame them at this point? They're like, sad, lonely, in their own minds, tortured by their own feelings. They want to go home. These kids have done a lot of self-reflection on this island, and it's only day seven. So then the girls play games. Suman ends up accidentally winning first place. She gets to pick someone to go with her to the to the to paradise. I pick Shi Hun. Yeah, him. I pick him. They go to paradise. All is good. He keeps thinking he was willing to open up to a new girl. Growth before our eyes. We were proud of this boy. Damn. If he can do it, I can do it. Here comes the last scene of the show. So the girls were literally sprouted out throughout the island, which was fucking weird in my opinion. And the guys, one by one, had to go to their girl. The one they wanted. The one they felt most attracted to. And here comes Shi Hun, okay? They play Suman right in front of Jia. In order to get to Jia, you have to pass Suman. See, whatever. He walks up towards Suman, literally stops by her. I think he even handshakes her and goes, thank you. And doesn't finish looking her in the eye after he even finished talking his fucking sentence. Suman literally was so shocked. Oh, he's coming to me. All happy. And he's like, bye. Oh, Deuces, God. drink my juices. You could just see the pure shock in Suman's face. Oh. How 
fucking embarrassing. How mean? Was that necessary? I just did not see Sihun being that kind of guy. He was almost douchey. This is my opinion. I just had so much secondhand embarrassment. Production maybe had played a part and said, do this because then Moo Sin Hoon did the same thing to Minji before he went off to ji -yeon. What's the point? To embarrass them, make them feel low? Sume gave you a chance, okay? A chance I love. Hear you? It was just painful to see. Suman, the whole time where the show was wrapping up and they were like doing like B row, her head was literally down to the ground the whole time. Again, it could have been production, so I don't know. Production or not? Me out here being a whole ass actor to lighten up the mood. What I found super cute was how Ye Won and Jin Chi suck the short guy. <laughs> Girl has to hold her hand, cuff it up, and she was just kind of standing there like, hey, well, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Turns back laughing and she's like, I'm just kidding, come here. And they hold hands. And the guy was purely like, what the fuck? They deserve so much more screen time. But no, we didn't get any screen time, huh? Netflix. And then Gia's exit was super cute. She had three guys, the hot Dorito man, the first guy. He has a dimple. I think he was my favorite guy, actually. Super loyal. He didn't pressure her. He trusted the process. And then he would do like cute things like, oh my God, so cute. Kept saying that he would be a puppy for Gia, right? At the end, Gia goes up to those three guys. It was nice meeting yours and then the dorito man we were brought together to meet each other i don't know and then she steps to the center dimple boy okay puppy let's go <laughs> she just goes Cute. i ship them and you know who else i truly shipped dorito man with yay one they had a moment like dorito man had his eyes glued on yay one hard eyes maybe because of her cape and then he even said like she's really funny and witty rumor has it that they've been out waterboarding okay it's not a rumor i just saw a tiktok of someone investigating and i literally believed it and that's how rumors spread to wrap it all up are we even convinced that any of these couples are together anymore i think this show was purely a show to be a show they were probably presented this opportunity as this is a great way for you to like get your chance at fame well we all know that gia blew up i mean if anything at the end they were shedding tears felt such a closeness together and i'm sure a lot of things happened behind the scenes that we didn't get to see and i hope they do keep in touch in real life that concludes my opinion on the show if you just want to see some hot ass people trying to fall in love with a little bit of confusion and a little bit of dick moves here and there i think you'd like this show check out singles inferno with that being said i'm sending love bye even if you try you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit